Now we want to get a closer look at that breaking news. And this morning we are following this developing news story out of Cleveland where uh, we are on the scene of an ongoing water rescue and we take you there live. You can see that crews are working. Uh, they have lights in hand. This is the first time we are seeing this footage as well with you folks. Uh, so they have the area taped off. You see a gentleman with a light strapped to him standing in what seems to be about knee, almost waist deep water. Uh, Lindsay, our photographer out there, hopefully in a very safe spot, uh, safe distance from all the action. Let me tell you where you're looking live right now. If you're familiar with the Cleveland area, this is behind uh, Cleveland High School around the Greenway and there's a river that runs right through that area, uh, part of Mouse Creek Road. Again, live images here, and you can see uh, rescue personnel, officers on the scene, and a few uh, apparent bystanders, not certain of, of their role here, but they're standing near the light pole. But again, uh, water rescue has been taking place, and we'll work to get more details on that. When we were first told it was three people that needed rescuing, we found out that one of them had been pulled. Uh, and at this point, it's unclear how they ended up in the water but one of those people is out of the water at the moment. Two others, we believe at least two others, are still trapped in the water. And you can see right here, uh, very dramatic images. And I believe we're seeing a rescue take place right now. I think that's what we're seeing, is people pulling somebody out of the water. This breaking news unfolding right here before your eyes, uh, reported to Bina. That's what we're hearing. Beth Newhoff confirmed that just a moment ago. Um, you can see they're shining their flashlights here, uh, trying to get perhaps someone who's been trapped there at Mouse Creek out of the water. Again, breaking news, and it uh, appears they have, uh, they're carrying someone out of the water right now. And we're gonna stay with this breaking news in the Cleveland area behind the Greenway right now. As you can see, so many people there at the scene trying to get reported uh, people tubing out of the water. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we are seeing this right with you guys. This is live. Don't change the channel or anything like that. Don't walk away from your screen. They just pulled somebody out of the water. We're not sure of the conditions. You can see some people standing by. They might have been with the, the person who they just pulled out. Three people were first uh, supposed to be in the water, and we were hoping to get them out. And this is a good time to remind folks as well. You know, when you have, uh, we talked about this yesterday with Bill, when you have these raging waters, when you have a higher level of water, uh, it's not a good time to be getting into those waters. And there's someone with uh, a gurney rolling toward the uh, area of Mouse Creek as well. So uh, we'll continue following this. We'll bring you more live images here in just a moment. But first, we're going to take a commercial break. Stay with us. All right, Bill, thank you very much. And our photographer, Lindsay Manning, is on the scene this morning. She's the one who brought you those dramatic images just a little while ago from Mouse Creek. So let's get straight to that as we tell you what we're learning this yeah, morning. Yeah, absolutely. We're being told that she is with one of the people who is rescued from the water. Uh, if Lindsay can hear us. Uh, this Lindsay was an eyewitness, I believe, that yeah. uh, watched. Okay, an eyewitness. Uh, watched and perhaps even heard the cries for help. And uh, let's go to, to them live this morning. And uh, what, can, what can you tell us? Why don't you go ahead and tell me a little bit about what um, what you saw this morning that, that caught your attention. Um, we had just got a call that the Greenway was flooded pretty bad, so we just came out here to check it out. And luckily, we were here as soon as we saw him grabbing the rafts and getting in the water. We heard him about a quarter of a mile down the Greenway. He started yelling for help, and we thought it was a joke at first, the way it was in his voice. So, But we came down here just to check on him anyways. And thank God we came down here to check on him because he was telling us call 911. And he couldn't hear us. I guess it was the rush of the water. He couldn't hear us, but he could hear us if we screamed at the top of our lungs. So he finally just told us to call 911, so we did. And I'm glad we were here at the time we were. Thank goodness he's okay. And did you know who he was? Was he a friend? No, ma'am. I've never met him in my life. But I'm, I just hope somebody would do the same for me, so I have to do that for somebody else, you know? Very good. Thank you so much. No it's so good that you're out here. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Nice. You just heard a live interview here, our photographer uh, Lindsay Manning speaking to an eyewitness who heard those pleas for help coming from Mouse Creek off of Raider Drive. And um, as she said, she's so glad she ran down to check on them. Yeah, likely saving the lives of several of those people. We're still trying to confirm just how many people were in the water. But we do know that the person you saw get taken from the water live here, 
should be okay. So we're con going to continue to follow this story, and we'll be back in just a moment with another update as well as other news of the day. Stay with us.